Hi, good morning everyone. I am in my classroom and I'm going to show you today how I set up everything for my in-person and my virtual learners. I have students who are j joining live from at home and also I have students live in person. So I have to kind of arrange everything for a mix of both. So stick with me and we'll check it out. So this is my teacher desk and I have my regular desktop computer that hooks up to my smart board in the front and I bring in my personal laptop too to do things like check my emails or put something quickly on Google Classroom because my desktop computer is tied up with the smart board. So I use my desktop computer because not only am I trying to talk and see my students who are streaming live from home, but I also have my students in person that need to see whatever I'm trying to project. So I log in with two uh, uh, computers, which seems confusing, but it does seem to be working. And this works with Google Meet as well as Zoom. So you can see which works best for you. But you can see here that I've got the um, computer in the front, which is just a Chromebook, and this is showing me the view of my classroom. That is what I mostly use when I'm speaking with my students that are virtual and when I'm trying to have them see me. I use this computer if I need to do something where I need the touch part of the smart board. So if I'm going to do a math lesson, let's say, and I want to um, write on something or I want to show them a thing on Google Slides, I can project from here um, onto my smart board, my in-person learners can see, plus I can screen share it to my virtual learners so they can see too. So let me show you a little example of what I mean by that. So if I want to do something like this math, solve and share, I want to write with my markers on my smart board. The only way for me to do this is to project with this computer, otherwise it won't exactly work. So what I do in Google Meet is I do present now and I present my entire screen because also another thing, the writing aspect comes on like a different layer. So if you just share the one tab, you might not, your students might not see the writing from their side. You'll still see it, but it's not really going through because it's just sharing that window. So make sure you hit entire screen. And once I share that, I'm able to see um, here and I'll just turn my camera and show you guys. So you can see that I'm able to see everything here. I could take my smart board, I can draw on it, and my students at home can also see this. I'm just gonna show you what my students at home can see. Now what I'm using here is just an actual, it's actually a music stand. Um, we found this in the closet and there was a bunch of extra ones. So they've been really helpful. I have my Chromebook on here, I've got my Hue document camera to kind of project anything that might be uh, handwritten and I'm just going to take you a little closer. So you can see actually what the zoom window looks like to somebody in it. So to my students at home, they're seeing what I'm projecting on the board. My students in person can see the whole projection full screen and my students on the computer can see what I'm doing. If I write here, you'll see that it will write um, on the computer screen and the students can get that same effect. And you can see that I can still see my students on the virtual learning. So what I do is I teach, I aim this this way so that I'm able to talk to my in-person learners and still see my virtual learners there. Um, I can see what I'm doing and what they see and then it sort of pops up um, as we go and I can still see my students here. So let's say I'm going to end the sharing now. Alright, so I'm going to stop the screen sharing from the smart board and you can see that my students um, on the Chromebook, I can now see them bigger. I would be able to talk to them and see them. And another thing I'm going to show you is how I could share something if I want to review something that's on paper. So the Hue is a really great camera. It's so portable and it's light. So it, I put this right on this stand and it's been really helpful to me. 
with Google Meet, unfortunately, they don't have all of the same features as Zoom. So if you're using Zoom, it's a bit easier, but if you're using Google Meet, kind of a hack for this is to switch over your camera to make it into this camera. So your camera becomes the main window. You can see here, let me just... So if I wanted to display um, our match sheet that is paper version, I hook up my Hue camera and I actually make it my camera on the Google Meet on this Chromebook. So you can see that on my smart board because I'm still in the meeting, here is my camera that I just muted and blocked out. But here is this camera right here. And now you can see the math sheets up. So one trick that I always do is I pin it. When you pin the window, it makes it really big. So if I, oops, if I hit pin, I now get the full screen. And this is gonna help my in-person learners because now they can see what I'm doing. And don't forget the at-home learners can also see what I'm doing because I'm acting as a guest in the video chat. So I tell my students at home to also pin the window so it gets larger. And now I can write and I can move and everybody can kind of see. What I'll do is I'll usually turn around. That's why I have this like kind of moving cart. So I'll turn, I'll face this way, so I'm kind of out of the way for the students. I can still remember see my virtual learners, plus my in-person learners, and everybody can see my document. So just a couple little checks. I've also hooked up speakers to my cart here. I have some speakers right here on the side, and what I do with those is because Sometimes I want to project videos and hear my students. I found that the echo was getting to be a little bit too much. So I will actually play videos from this Chromebook with the sound and with the um, camera from here. I will project it as a, as a guest um, one tab. And my students in person can hear because we have the loudspeakers instead of just the Chromebook speakers and then my students online can hear better. And that eliminates kind of the running back and forth through the classroom, trying to mute one computer, play another. So if I share something, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So let me just, so here's the window that I'm sharing from this Chromebook up here that I have the voice and the sound and the camera on. And you can see that it's big enough for my in-person learners to still see. And the, also the other thing I like is that my virtual students are still here on camera. I like to really include the virtual students so that my in-person learners can see them, plus I can keep an eye on what's going on, so it kind of helps me monitor both situations. Um, so if I was showing, like this is just our Google Classroom, but they can see it um, fairly large, it's easy to see. If I wanted to play uh, a video or something on there, they would be able to see it um, in a large space. So here's a YouTube video I'm gonna play so you can see how large it is for my in-person learners. Uh, they can see pretty well. The sound is now coming out of my speakers. So it's easy for them to hear. Good, now that we're done with that guy, today we're going to learn about what you can do too is just make sure that your presentation audio button is always selected. If you do that, then that way they can, your students that through the video can hear through the, through the virtual learners, they'll be able to hear fine. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions or you have other tricks on how you're teaching in person and virtual learners, just leave a comment below. Um, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos and please always reach out for any help. Have a great day.